Another six at six. All right. We have three minutes to get through six stories. Okay. Paul, go ahead. Okay, number six. Uh, when you quit your job, you got to really sell it. Like Beth McGrath from the Walmart store in Louisiana, she went on the PA system and said, Attention, Walmart shoppers. My name is Beth from Electronics. I've been working at Walmart for almost five years, and everyone here is overworked and underpaid. <laughs> she said a bunch of other stuff. She called her store manager a pervert, oh. and then closed with blank management, Make blank this, this job, I quit. Uh, she shared it on her Facebook page. It's gone viral. Mm. Uh, and I'm pretty sure she burned the bridge or two uh, <laughs> along the way there. Yeah, might not be hired future back. Future employers yeah. a little bit reluctant yeah. as well, but she got it off her chest. Sometimes that's all you need. Typically not good to broadcast yeah. also no. that your boss is a pervert. That's no. not going to go over well <laughs> either. Trust oh, me. Well. Uh, number five, uh, running is the best. Uh, sure, it keeps you fit, but once you're really in the zone, oh, zooming yeah. along, your buds play your oh, favorite yeah. tunes. You feel unstoppable euphoria. Yeah. Well, some exercise scientists say there are other ways to achieve that runner's high without running at all. Ooh, you piqued really? my interest. Options include yoga or meditation are, with Robin. focus on breath work, <laughs> uh -huh. acupuncture, yeah. socializing with friends, all right. or doing a workout of your choice. Swimming, yeah. cycling, skating, even yeah. SEX. Wow. <laughs> So that you don't have to just run. Nope. Did you say sitting on the sofa was one of those or not? I didn't, but I. Yeah. they've mentioned enough activities yeah. that I imagine was one more dopey yeah. activity. Yeah. Number four, the animal kingdom is a majestic thing. Check out these bison at Yellowstone Whoa. National oh, Park. Oh, yeah. man alive. Got into a fight. See that again. Whoa. Oh, wow. Oh, my this is gosh. Gosh. Stay away from my lady. You think that's what's going on I there, Dan? I think so. What yeah. the heck? Well, I'm a little yeah. embarrassed for that. Right, we got one minute to get through three of these. Oh, right? ah, that's I'm right. just Take time to enjoy it. Look at that. I mean, look at that guy. Yeah. I mean, he should be embarrassed for himself. He's going to get all the yeah. ladies. The other guy is. Show yeah. himself yeah. to the other bison. Oof. All right, yeah. number three. It's not known for snow, but Saudi Arabia is prepping for next year's Winter Olympic Games anyway, and the athletes have found their inspiration. You zigging? You zagging? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Always remember. Your bones will not break in a bobsled. <laughs> no, no. They shatter. Ooh. So, 27 seconds. who wants in? The inspiration is the Jamaican bobsled team Jamaican from this movie Cool Runnings here. Uh, Saudi officials even hired coaches from Europe to train skiers and snowboarders to be more competitive on the slopes of the Beijing Games. Some of the Saudi athletes are excited to compare themselves to the Jamaican bobsled team. One snowboarder says it's inspiring how they did. No one thought it was possible, so we'll see. Nuts. We never get to the top two. How are we supposed to do an alien story? Well, we'll say there was yeah. something about uh, black, uh, wedding dresses. Oh, uh, something Make about no. There was a big story yes, about yeah, aliens yeah, being day, discovered that we didn't yeah. get around. We'll oh, get to okay. it on Monday tomorrow. Or tomorrow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Next time. So we yeah. got four out of six that time? That's, That's not yeah. bad. That is not bad, actually. Yeah. All <laughs> things considered. Uh, all right.